Hey guys, welcome to Lex's Lounge. So if you're a political buff like I am, then you've been probably watching the Alabama Senator special election uh, as earnestly as I have been. And I think we're pretty much at the point where we're ready to call it. It looks like Doug Jones is going to be the new senator from Alabama. And the Democrats will have taken Ruby Red, Alabama. Now, a lot of people are going to be talking tomorrow morning about how whether or not the Democrats would have taken Alabama uh, if it wasn't for all the sexual allegations against Roy Moore. I think it was about more than just those sexual allegations. Um, I, I think that here we had somebody who was in, in Roy Moore hilariously homophobic, almost stereotypically homophobic. Um, we're not talking about somebody whose position was no on gay marriage. We're talking about somebody whose position was homosexual acts should be illegal. That is quite the spread. Roy Moore was also offensively religious. Like when a guy takes the Bible so seriously that he'll get fired over hanging the Ten Commandments in his courtroom, that's not somebody who goes to church because he likes the community feel of church. That's somebody who's frankly dumb enough to take the Bible literally. So definitely not somebody who should be married to actual power in 2017. Let's not forget in Roy Moore we also had somebody who was really really openly racist in a way that's frankly pretty unchristian. Actually everything about him is pretty unchristian for somebody who claimed to have Christian values. Um, now the whole thing where uh, this charity called the uh, Foundation for Moral Law paid him a salary while he claimed he wasn't getting paid a salary. That right there shows that the guy isn't even really a Christian. Like, he doesn't follow the do not lie, do not steal. He's not like a Ned Flanders. He's a guy who pretends that he's a Christian to attain more power. And obviously Roy Moore had like no ability to think about things in a complex way. Everything was very black and white to him, uh, which is a very bizarre quality to get in a judge. As for the sexual assault allegations, those were kind of the icing on the cake. I mean, if that's what it took to get Alabama, that's what it took. But I'm hoping that this is also to some degree a response to Trump's general incompetence. Trump won Alabama by over 20 points in the 2016 election, so. I do think that the Democrats would have done better had they put a more populist candidate on their ticket. Doug Jones was kind of a middle of the mill, like very typical Democrat, right in the center of the pack. I don't think it would have mattered if he had been more progressive because those voters in Alabama who saw him as the liberal were gonna see him as the liberal no matter what. But in any case, I suppose uh, today Alabama saved the day, uh, showed Trump that it can give him the middle finger just as quickly as it welcomed him into the presidency. So there you go, a lesson for Trump. And on that note, guys, I will link to the detailed uh, election results in the description for anybody who wants to look them over. And uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. I'm off to bed.